this one, what we're going to do is extract some height information from a map and we'll import that to create our geometry and that way we can build in a real world setting. Okay, so let's get started. So to begin, what I'm going to do from here is just open up a web browser. Okay, I'm going to go to terrain.party. Okay, and this is a web application that makes height maps. Now you can see on the screen here, you get a little small box. It's going to zoom out slightly and I'm just going to move this into a position that I want to take. And I'm going to come back over here, zoom in and just place this. So maybe somewhere like this at the moment. Now, unfortunately, it is quite large. It's eight kilometers by eight kilometers. Well, it's currently 18 kilometers, as you can see here. I'm actually going to reduce that now to down to its smallest, which is eight. OK, I can zoom in here. I'm just going to place it maybe here. I know there's a hilly section around here. That's kind of what I want to point out. So with that in place, I'm just going to remember that it's eight kilometers by eight kilometers. OK, I'm going to hit the export. I'm going to give this a name and I'm just going to call this I'm going to call this sitemap and just click OK. And I'm going to save this then into a project folder because I want to be able to retrieve this. So I'm just going to hit save. OK, and the other thing I want to do before I leave this site is take a quick screenshot of this. So I'm going to use the snipping tool and I'm going to click new and I'm going to get a image of this. And I'm going to include the blue outline so I can use that as a reference, as a guide. Unfortunately, you can't zoom in here, so I'm just going to get this as close as possible. OK, and again, I'm just going to hit save and I'm going to choose my project folder and just save that there. I can X that down and I can come back into Blender. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select this cube and press delete and select delete. I'm going to press shift A. What I need to do is add a plane. So I'm going to add in a plane. And if I come over to the modifiers tab, I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier because we need to add extra faces or geometry to this so it can take the height map. OK, so I'm just going to use subdivision surface. I'm going to increase this to six and I'm going to switch it to simple and I'm going to add another modifier. And this one is going to be a displace. I can click new here and I can click this option here. That brings me into the texture settings up here. What I want is an image or movie and I'm going to click open. OK, and I'm going to come to my project folder. OK, and I'm just going to open up my project folder here and you can see that we have a zipped folder. I'm just going to double click in here and the one I want is the merged. So I'm just going to control C that come back here and just control V. So that's the site map that I need. OK, I can now just drag this out of the way. So if I come back into my terrain, it should be in here now. Okay, so height map merged and click open image. All right, I can zoom in now and you can see we're getting some terrain on this. Okay, the other thing I need to do is switch the color space here from sRGB to linear. Okay, and that's not looking too bad. Now, the other thing I want to do is scale this up to the correct size. So I'm going to press seven and zoom out here and I'm going to press S and scale this right up. So I'm just going to keep zooming in and out and I'm going to come up to eight kilometers in the X and Y. You can see that here. Now, the problem we have is the clipping on the camera. So I'm going to come down here to clip. and I'm actually going to reduce the minimum to one millimeter. And for the maximum, I'm just going to give it 10 kilometers, so 10 km. That way we can see this map again. OK, and finally, what I want to do is add in that image underneath so I can pick out some landmarks. So I'm going to put a check mark in background images and click add image. I'm just going to drag this out slightly. I'm going to switch this to top and click open. OK, if I come to my folder, I have this screen capture image. That is the one of the map. So I'm just going to double click that. I can press Z now and bring up wireframe. And actually what I can do is just hide the subdivision surface modifier so I can see this. So over here on the image properties, I can increase this. OK, I'm going to drag this right up and increase it to match the outline of our mesh. OK, with that done, I'm just going to switch back on the visibility of the subdivision surface modifier. OK, and I think that's going to do it for this one.